Hi, my name is Katie Gerwig and I went to the University of Idaho. I graduated this spring um, studying ASCL, which is Agriculture Science Communication and Leadership. And I'm Karen Launchbaugh. Today we're going to talk about the rangeland CDE and FFA. I'm a range professor. I grew up on the prairies of North Dakota and now I'm here in Idaho and today we're in beautiful Price Valley, which is just just a little bit west of New Meadows. And we've been out, you're gonna see video, videos of us setting up this event. And uh, first I wanna tell you a little bit about range management and why we do the CDE, because um, range is a really cool career. In, uh, in North America, we call ourselves range conservationists or range management specialists. I like that in Australia, they call us land care professionals. So I feel like this beautiful land needs care and our field, the one that shows you how to take care of this land. And it doesn't matter whether you're working for livestock or whether you want to keep this land for wildlife or whether you want to preserve it from fire and keep it from all burning up in destructive fire or whether you're interested in restoration or even if you're interested in recreation. We have the tools in this profession to help maintain this land. Uh, you know, you may or may not know that half of the earth is, is rangeland. Half of the earth's land surface is range. There's more range than anything else. So job opportunities are great. Um, I, the students say that um, our students get what every student wants, a job. Yep. Uh, there's 80% of our students that get job in range management. The others get jobs in agriculture and natural resources. Um, nearly everybody in range has a job. There are nine jobs for every range student in Idaho. So it's a very big career. Our students work for the Bureau of Land Management, the Forest Service, Land Conservation Districts, the so Natural Resources Conservation Service. Uh, they work for ranch. They had they work on their own ranches and sometimes they work for like the, the nature conservancy or consulting firms too So there's a lot of things you can do if you know about this beautiful land So the CDE I'm going to show you the parts of it. There's four things that we do in the field here We started this afternoon. We'll see some videos of us setting up plant identification Which was something you really liked yep. when you did it My favorite part. <laughs> and it, that's kind of up over there in the trees and you'll see some close-up of that and then behind us, you see a nice slope and a couple of black posts. That's where we did the, the site assessment. So we do slope, aspect, we do the precipitation zone, uh, we did a soil pit and the soil yep. texture, and then we clipped some vegetation. And so you'll get to see close up what it's like to clip vegetation. And I actually really like clipping vegetation to know exactly how much biomass is out here. Then the next thing we did, we started taking a little closer look at uh, the, a site assessment. What should this land look like? What could it look like? What do we want it to look like? So we look at a site and we say, here's what's here. What would we want this to be if we could? And so that's, that's there. We also looked at uh, shrubs. Are these shrubs on the site good, in good shape? Are they getting old? Is the whole neighborhood kind of getting old? Or are there a lot of young ones around? So we do a site, assess, or a, a, a site assessment that includes the age diversity of shrubs. Then we looked at how much of this land is gray. So the last part is about measurements. And uh, we do a lot of measurements in range because we can't ask the land questions. We have to measure it to see what it's all about. So I wish we could ask you questions like, hey, how you feeling today? But we can't. <laughs> so we do things like we measure, well, how much have the cows been using it? And just over there, you can't see them on the camera, but just over there, there are some cows. Yeah, you're a <laughs> <laughs> and so the cows helped us out today because we, they could see what they grazed. And, and we'll talk to you about utilization, how important it is to measure that aspect. Then the last thing we did today is we looked at the shrubs out here. Shrubs are especially important for wildlife. So uh, again, the kind of the four aspect e emphasis areas in range are range and livestock. Then there's a wildlife habitat, there's restoration, especially if we want to restore after fire or after weed invasion, and then the last one is fire. How do we manage fuels? So going into degrees and range, help you do those four things. And in a, on a setting like this in the CDE, you're going to get the basic skills yep. of, of learning how to ask the land questions. So I hope you enjoy the CDEs and uh, we're going to try to give you as many tips and tricks as we can along the way.